I have been working as a data scientist now for about three years. And in this video, I want to shed some light and explain the brutal truth behind what it's actually like being a data scientist. Let's get into it. So what actually is a data scientist? Well, nowadays it can mean a range of things, but I like to think of it as a data scientist is someone who uses programming, maths, statistics, and data to help solve business problems and provide insight into where things can be improved or how to use data more efficiently. To me, the main unique skill of data scientist is that of building machine learning models and predictive statistical models. We do these to help drive business decision making and make processes a lot more efficient than they would if they were just operated by humans. Common problems that data scientists may work on is predicting if a credit card payment was fraudulent or not, recommending the right products to certain customers on e-commerce websites, and also generating the right kind of insurance policy for a customer. Data science is such a big area. So what you find is that as data scientists get later on in their career, they will often specialize in one particular area, like recommendation systems, reinforcement learning, and forecasting. And they will also probably specialize in one particular industry domain. So the work I do as a data scientist is that I work in a cross-functional team and my team mainly focuses on optimization and forecasting type problems. Much of my day-to-day -day work revolves around trying to improve the models and also providing support to stakeholders to explain why the models are doing a certain thing. The general workflow is that someone will have an idea about how they can improve the model We'll then go into trying to find if the data is readily available to prove this you know, idea or hypothesis. If the data is available, then we'll go into a research phase. So we'll build this idea in the model and we will test it. Then after we've done the test, we'll then do some analysis, basically just to determine has this idea or hypothesis actually improved the model or not. Then if it has, we'll then go to ship it into production by writing production code and making it nice and tidy and then sending it out into the world. Now, along this process, there's a lot of collaboration with other teams and functions. For example, when we're doing the initial idea and scoping of the hypothesis, this may require us interacting with product managers to get that business view and to make sure we haven't missed anything on that business critical side, getting the data, research. This can all be done in tandem with data analysts and data engineers because they have access and better knowledge normally of the data and the pipelines. Just make sure that we are using indeed the right data and we're building the correct ETL pipelines. And finally, the ship stage is often done with software engineers to make sure the way we're deploying our algorithm is indeed up to kind of production code standards and is the best way of deploying an algorithm. From my general experience and chatter with other data scientists, this type of workflow is pretty consistent across the industry. So if you are looking to become a data scientist, this is kind of the general way you would expect to work in a company. Data science teams are structured in kind of two main ways in corporations, and the other ways are kind of just like a mixture of the two. The first one is the idea of having embedded data scientists. This is kind of how I work in my cross-functional team, where basically you have a team full of data scientists, analysts, product managers, software engineers, and in this team, their goal is to basically look after one area or serve a single purpose. The other way around is kind of the complete opposite, and that's having data scientists as almost an in-house consultancy. And what I mean by that is that you have a team of data scientists who are kind of like in their own team, and then they will be kind of set on tasks inside a company, which are kind of the most value at that point in time. This kind of system means that you work on a range of problems, so you won't necessarily be a specialist in one domain. You may be uh, assigned a forecasting problem one day and then a reinforcement learning the next day. So both these kind of systems have their pros and cons, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter because I find the work so interesting. No matter what kind of structure I have, I enjoy it nonetheless. I find that people often really glamorize working in tech online. Like it seems to be all coffee, chats, coding an hour a day, and yet somehow you make six figures. In reality, this is not the case, but the workday is still very interesting compared to a lot of other professions. My general experience is that the workday typically starts at nine o'clock where you have a morning standup. And then 
9.30 till 10.30, you'll have some sort of sync or meeting with you know product managers, stakeholders, data scientists, just some meeting to discuss recent developments. Then between 10.30 and 12 to 12.30, you'll have a work block where you can do some coding. Then 12.30 to 1.30, you'll typically have your lunch break. And then after that, you have another coding block from 1.30 to about 4.00. And then four to five, you may have another meeting or sync with stakeholders. Then from five to 5.30, you basically just wrap up the day, answer emails, Slack messages, and kind of get organized for tomorrow. It's important to mention that we don't only just code as data scientists. We're kind of like the linchpin between the business and tech side. So some days I may be doing presentations for stakeholders and explaining what my data and my models are really doing to the business. The reason I'm a data scientist can be boiled down into four main reasons. The first one is that the work is just so interesting. I mean, we're currently in this big AI revolution. So as a data scientist, I'm pretty much right at the forefront of all the latest developments in machine learning, AI, deep learning, whatever you name it, all these buzzwords. And it's just really interesting because data science, like I said earlier, is such a big field. So you can always bet there's something new to learn and you can never learn everything. And that idea of constantly developing, learning new interesting things to improve your career is something that I really love. The second one is that the flexibility and the work-life balance. Tech jobs are generally quite well known to have better work-life balance than other careers like banking or law. Most kind of jobs I've seen for data science work no longer than eight to six but most of them are normally around 9 to 5.30. And with that, a lot of tech-based jobs normally have a quite a hybrid working policy. So you can expect to work kind of a few days or a couple of days from home in the week. I personally love this because all that time I would have wasted commuting or working till 10 o'clock if I was a lawyer or banker, I can spend pursuing my other passions, such as creating YouTube videos, writing blogs, playing hockey, just gives me a lot more variability and kind of freedom to pursue other ventures that I'm also interested in, as well as data science. The third one is that the compensation in data science is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty well known that tech generally pays quite well, particularly for North America, where it's not unheard of for data scientists to be earning 200K plus. In the UK, in the EU, it's slightly less, but it's still above average compared to the, the general median salary of the region. And the final one is that as a data scientist, you can work in so many different industries. I've only worked for three years and I've already worked in both insurance and e-commerce. So if there's an industry that you're really passionate about, then chances are as a data scientist, you can probably get into it fairly easily. So the final point is that should you be a data scientist? Well, of course you should but only if you want to. Data science is a great career, like I've just said, but it's not easy all the time. And if you don't like coding, maths, statistics, and constantly learning things, then it may not be the right fit for you. I have a whole separate video explaining exactly the things that you should be comfortable with if you want to become a data scientist. You can find it linked on screen here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.